Hi, I'm Kristen Scott, and welcome to Gentle Yoga for Low Back Pain. We hope that you will follow us on social media, and also I invite you to do this video again a couple times, even daily, if it feels really good on your low back, so you can find us on Amazon Prime, and let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to get started in a child's pose, so bring your big toes to touch at the back of your mat. And you can spread your knees wide, or if your low back is really tight, maybe you leave your knees in closer together. And let your belly, your chest, begin to rest down onto your thighs. You can crawl your fingers out long in front of you, or maybe let your hands come back by your feet. And once you settle into your child's pose, maybe massage your forehead side to side and start to notice your breath. Notice where your breath is traveling in your body. Notice any tight areas and take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, let it go. Big breath in, fill up. Open your mouth, let it go. One more, big breath in, expand. Open your mouth, release. Now, Seal your lips and keep that breath. Strong inhales and exhales through your nose. You'll form a slight constriction at the back of your throat, allowing your breath to take on an oceanic texture quality. With each exhale, feel your hips melting down closer to your heels. And if your low back is beginning to soften, maybe you start to spread your knees a little wider, taking your hands out in front of you, allowing your belly to nuzzle down in between your legs. Strong inhales and exhales through your nose. If you feel ready, we'll begin to make our way into legs up the wall. Our first variation of legs up the wall. And you're gonna scoot your hips all the way to the wall if you can. And then take your legs straight up. If your back is really tight, you can put a blanket under here. You can be farther away from the wall if you need. So whatever your comfort level is here. And then you can allow your arms to rest down by your sides, palms facing up, maybe one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart, if that's more comfortable. So whatever feels good. And then really let your hips melt down, melt into the wall. And continue those long, slow inhales and exhales through your nose.
And as your low back begins to settle and release, maybe you start to take your legs out a little wider. You can take them as close or as far apart as is comfortable in your body. Really pressing your hips evenly into your mat and just gently allowing your legs to open. No forcing. Continuing with your deep, slow inhales and exhales. And you can stay in this leg variation as long as you feel comfortable. If your legs start to tingle or go numb, you can bring them back up closer together. Really checking in with your body and what's feeling good in this moment. One more leg variation that might feel good is to bring your soles of your feet to touch with your knees open wide, still pressing that low back firmly into your mat, trying to get your hips close to the wall. Maybe your hands gently press your knees outward to begin to open your hips a little bit. really filling up on your inhales and emptying out on your exhales. Again, in your legs up the wall pose, you can play around with any of the leg variations that feel good and feel free to stay for as long as you want here. And now we're gonna move into figure four using the wall. So begin to scoot your hips back away from the wall. And you'll bring your knees to stack directly over your hips. Shins are parallel to your mat. And then you'll take your right ankle and cross it over your left knee. Really flex through this right foot and you can press your right hand to open up this right knee. And pressing into the wall with your left foot to begin to open your right outer hip here. Deep breaths. Working to press both hip points evenly into your mat. while allowing this right outer hip to start to open. And as your hip begins to open, maybe you scoot your hips in a little closer to the wall to get a deeper stretch here. I'm gonna do at least five rounds of breath here on this side. And then when you feel ready, bring your right foot back to the wall. Check for that stacking of your knees over your hips and then bring your left foot to cross over that right knee. 
Again, flexing through that foot. This will help to protect your knee. And then maybe gently pressing your left hand into your knee to start to open up that hip, if that feels good. Still working to press evenly through both hips at the same time to keep that low back safe. Again, at least five rounds of breath on this side, maybe more if it feels good. And then slowly begin to release. Go ahead and bring both feet down to your mat. Maybe scoop back a little bit from the wall. If your legs started to fall asleep, maybe you need to just shake them out a little bit. Next, we'll get set up for our bridge pose. So knees point up to the ceiling and then walk your heels in as far as you can and make sure that you can tickle your heels with your fingertips. And you'll wanna keep your knees hip width distance and you're gonna press down firmly through your heels. And then you're, we're gonna lift our hips on an inhale, but really important here is to suck your belly button to your spine, really engage your core first, then take your inhale and lift your hips. We're going into a low bridge here to keep your low back safe. So keep engaging that core, really pulling your belly button towards your spine, lifting through your heels, hugging your knees into center, and this is a low bridge, so we're not going as high as maybe you normally do because we're really working to keep that low back safe here, pulling that navel firmly towards your back body. And breathe here. Keeping that core engagement. Last inhale and slowly lower down on your exhale. Then you'll knock your knees into center to touch and step your feet out to the edges of your mat. This will release your low back, so allowing your sacrum to settle down here. Maybe windshield wiper your knees back and forth. That feels nice on your low back. Staying with those strong inhales and exhales through your nose. And from our bridge pose, we'll come into Supta Baddha Konasana. So bring the soles of your feet to touch and let your knees open wide. And this will further release your low back. Again, you can leave your hands down by the sides or bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Maybe allowing your eyes to close here. Maybe feeling your heartbeat and your belly fill up with your breath. Continuing to pull your navel towards your spine to keep that low back nice and safe pressing firmly into your mat. Then we'll reach for the outsides of our legs. Close your knees up like a book. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. Maybe rock side to side if that feels good. And then we'll start to take a couple rocks up and down the length of your spine. And we're going to come all the way up for a seated forward fold. So for our seated forward fold, you might have to move a little extra love out from underneath your sit bones. You want to feel both sit bones pressing firmly into your mat. We're going to flex really strong through our feet. So maybe you bring your feet all the way up to the wall to help 
remind you to keep them really engaged and flexed. Then inhale your arms up by your ears and exhale, start to hinge forward at your hips, really pulling that belly button towards your spine to create some extra space to fold from. And then you'll reach for whatever is accessible. Maybe your hands rest on your shins or your thighs. Maybe you can grab your feet. You'll want to take a micro bend in your knees here if you feel any strain in your hamstrings. And then allow your spine to kind of fold in, curve in at the last moment here. Deep breaths, continuing to flex those toes up towards your face. So forward folds are really calming to your central nervous system. They're also the counter pose for the, bend, the back bend that we did, the bridge pose. So really important, really healing for your low back. And when you're ready, we'll inhale, roll up slowly, releasing. Maybe shake your legs out a little bit if you need to. And then we'll make our way down onto our backs and we'll come into a happy baby pose. So you'll flex your feet up towards the ceiling. You can grab inside your legs for your big toes or maybe the outsides of your feet and you'll pull your knees in towards your armpits. You really want to iron your entire spine down into your mat here. So really pulling those knees in towards your armpits to allow your whole spine to lengthen on your mat, pressing that tailbone down firmly. You can rock side to side here if that feels good. Maybe you straighten one leg. Maybe straighten the other. Maybe even straightening both legs out as long as you can keep that spine flat, including your tailbone stamped into your mouth. And slowly release your feet, hug your knees into your chest, and then take your hips a little bit over to the right, and your knees will come over to the left. You want to try to keep your hips and your shoulders in line here, and then try to get both shoulders to press down firmly into your mat. You can keep your gaze straight up, or maybe extend this right arm and look over your right shoulder if that's comfortable. Whatever feels good on your neck here. Maybe this left hand presses your knees down to go a little deeper into the stretch, but really working to keep both shoulders pressing into your mat and allowing your breath to begin to settle here. At least five rounds of breath here. And then when you feel ready, bring your hips back to center, your knees back to center. Give yourself a squeeze to reset your spine. And then you'll take your hips a little bit over to the left, bringing your knees to the right side. Again, lining up your shoulders and your hips. And then maybe start to open that left arm. Again, your gaze can stay up or you can take it over to your left side. Deep breaths here. And 
beginning to let go and start to relax. And if you feel even on this side, go ahead and hug your knees back into center. Little squeeze to reset your spine. And now we're gonna make our way into our final resting pose. We're gonna take a supported Shavasana to really continue to relax and release your low back. So if you have a bolster, feel free to use it or you can roll up a blanket or some towels. You just want a nice little roll and then it's gonna come right under your knees. And you're gonna let your feet come really wide to the edges of your mat. And then come down to lying on your back. Let your feet kind of splay open naturally to the sides. Feeling both shoulders pressing evenly into your mat. Arms rest down by your sides. Palms face up. Maybe rolling your shoulder blades a little bit together underneath you. Really letting your blanket or your towel, or your bolster support your knees so that your low back is pressing firmly into your mat and really relaxing here. And close your eyes. And start to let everything go here. Let go of controlling your breath. Release any tension from your forehead. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Feel both shoulders melting evenly into your mat. Relax all the way down through your arms, to your wrists, your fingers. Feel your entire spine melting down into your mat. Your tailbone and your hips settle down. Relax through your quads and your hamstrings, your knees, your shins, your calves, your ankles, and your toes. Let everything go here. And feel free to rest in Shavasana for as long as you want. If you have extra time, I encourage you to stay for even five more minutes. If it's time to move on with your day and you're ready to come out of your final resting pose. You'll start to make your way onto your right side, coming into fetal position. So gently just moving any props that you were using. Curl into a little ball, keeping your eyes closed, allowing your head to rest on your arm. into this fetal position, this place of comfort. The first yoga pose you ever did. And take a moment here to be grateful for spending time on yourself 
doing something good for your body and your mind and your spirit. When you're ready, you can gently press into your hand. Come up to a comfortable seated position. Bring your palms to touch at heart center. The light, the teacher, the student, and the love in me recognizes and is grateful for the light, the student, the teacher, and the love in each of you. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. If you liked this video, and I hope that you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Psych E Truth. Uh, you can find us on Amazon Prime for free as well, and please follow us on social media so that you can see more of my yoga journey.